What's happening everybody, the poets here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. And today's content is all about Threadripper 3. So Deep Blue back here is a Threadripper system, 3970X. So that's 32 cores, 64 threads. It's a powerhouse for 4K video editing. And about a year ago, over a year ago, I did a video series comparing the EK Velocity Threadripper 3 water block to the Optimus Threadripper 3 water block. And there were a lot of ups and downs with that whole journey because human malware was just starting and Optimus, they were still in production with this, so it took a long time to get and all that good stuff. So it ended up being a very interesting series. In the end, spoilers for those that haven't seen it, um, I loved this Velocity Water Block by EK. It looks great, RGB, all that good stuff. And it gave, gave really good temperatures to cool a 32 core system. But the Optimus Thread River 3 Water Block took the cake by like a long shot. So I don't remember the exact temperature differences, but it was like nine or 10 degrees Celsius or 11 degrees Celsius. It was, it was substantial. So EK recently reached out to me saying, hey, we'd like a round two, a second try to regain the title inside of Deep Blue here. So they sent me this EK Quantum Magnitude Threadripper 3 CPU water block. It's not released yet, uh, at least the time of filming. And so this is going to be kind of interesting to see what this big, huge box really contains and if it's good enough to overtake the Optimus Threadripper 3 CPU water block. So whichever one, maybe that's a premonition, whichever one falls <laughs> is not gonna be inside of Deep Blue anymore. The one left standing is gonna be the one inside of Deep Blue. This does have RGB, so uh, more frames and lower temps because of RGB? I don't know, let's find out. Well, this is also going to be kind of a journey too because I wanna make sure that this is an even playing field. So the same thing I did with the EK Velocity water block back in the day was I took it out, cleaned it up, all that good stuff so that we can compare it to a fresh Optimus water block. I'm gonna do the same to this Optimus CPU water block. Drain the, well, really flush the system thoroughly, then drain it, take out the water block, clean it all up, you know, so it's brand spanking new, put it back in, refill the system, let all the temperatures settle, get all the, the bleeding done. Bleeding is like getting all the air bubbles out of the system. Then start benching it, right? get all my results for all of my benching software, then drain the system, take it apart, take this out, and then put in the EK Quantum Magnitude CPU water block. Refill it, let everything settle again, make sure the fluid temperatures are the same as the Optimus sessions as well, and record all the benching. So I'm gonna let you guys know how all this goes. Uh, I will have results in this video, all right? That's a guarantee. And then there's going to be future content because there's even more EK stuff coming. Well, a lot of it's here already. I think all of it's here. So Deep Blue is going to get a little makeover as well. Really kind of comparing the Optimus pump to a new EK pump and a few other things as well. So this is going to be kind of cool. But this I'm really interested in. So obviously when it comes to processors, the lower the temperatures, the better. You get some longevity, of course. If you're an overclocker, you have more headroom to push that thing a little bit further. And uh, I'm talking too much, so let's get to this. I need a forklift to get this off the desk and put it on the workbench. My back hurts already. All right, let's go.
All right, progress has been made. So the system is fully benched now with the cleaned Optimus Threadripper 3 water block. And honestly, I noticed temperatures dropped drastically. I probably should have cleaned that water block a few months ago. Um, but yeah, it performed really, really nicely. So this is actually my uh, Li Pao um, portable monitor. So since this beast of a machine, Deep Blue, takes up so much space, instead of bringing up my monitor, I've decided just to use this nice little portable thing here. Uh, kind of cute 1080p uh, portable display. So overall, uh, what has to happen now is I have to drain this, take it apart, uh, rip off the Threadripper 3 water block by Optimus, install this one, the Magnitude by EK. And uh, if you didn't see my unboxing of this, take a look because I actually did disassemble this and I liked what I saw on the inside. So it was really informative. Uh, so then I have to put this back on the system, put the system back together, fill it, uh, leak test, let it bleed, all that stuff. And then I can do the benchmarking for that. So I'll be doing comparative results. So at the end of this video, you're going to get all the results side by side. Um, team group did actually decide to send me 32 gigs more actually of their, uh, white RGB Ram right here. And so I'm going to install this actually full eight sticks into deep blue after this testing is done. Cause unfortunately the Ram arrived today. So I can't like mix Ram. I can't use uh, the Ram that's in here take it out and then use this RAM and then start benching the EK block. That's not a fair comparison because memory can affect temperatures on CPUs. So after this is installed and benched, then I'm gonna install the team group uh, RAM, the T-Force. And um, I have more things to do to Deep Blue. So we have a lot more bending. We have an EK pump that has to go in here as well. And uh, basically a whole new design. So it's going to be kind of interesting. So more videos to come on this. So I'm rambling, now it's time to drain. So let's get to it. You're still here? The video is done. You already got all the data. You see the RGB. What, you expect me to give you some detailed, deep analysis regarding all the findings and my experience? No, you, you just wanted the data, you got the data. You see what it all looks like. Yes, it was fun, but no, this was my birthday weekend. I'm lucky I even got through all of this. That, that was an accomplishment by itself. And no, I don't have like flashy merch like Gamers Nexus or Bitwit or Jay's Two Cents like selling iFixit. No, this is not that type of video. All right. So you got the results. 
go. Go overclock something. Make it cold. <laughs>